Okay, so this video is about the car buying experience online. Uh, TrueCar.com and all these different websites that uh, you know tell you, hey, we're gonna we're gonna help you beat the car dealership, and we're gonna get all this. We're gonna get you to save all this money, and and you're going to have um, you know a no haggle price and all this stuff. It's total baloney. I mean, it's serious. It's it is a total a straight up lie in a lot of cases because the thing is they're just trying to get your contact information and sell it to the dealerships. TrueDarkCar.com they have this whole you know price structure that they show on there, and how they get that information is from the dealerships. The dealerships sign on and they share their their sale prices or sales with True Car. True Car puts it out there. And shows you know different people, but the people different qualify for different kind of incentives. They diff, qualify for different type of rebates and all the different things. So the numbers that you see on there are based on individuals, especially the really low numbers. Nobody, the, the really low numbers are very unique situations. You know, if you think you well, I could just walk in, I can you know offer the dealer that ship that price or whatever. It's probably not going to happen because that's probably will be thousands of dollars lower or thousand you know whatever the case may be lower than what the dealership pays for the vehicle and that's another thing the dealerships actually do sell vehicles at a loss I mean they might lose a couple hundred dollars just to make the sale in certain cases but um but if you go to if you go to true car or these some of these websites um, they are a middleman that they're going to charge the dealership three, four, five hundred dollars for your contact information. You put, you go to them. They they gain your trust by telling you, hey, you know, we're on your side and all this stuff. They try to insinuate that they're on your side. They're not. They don't unless you're paying them and you have. They they don't have any kind of um, duty to you. So they get paid to the dealerships. And, and really, they screw over the dealerships, too, because they're posting all this information and, and telling people that they're going to get this low price when the dealerships can't always honor that price. You know, they tell they, they basically lie, and there's been lawsuits uh, for these websites because of this. So if you were to go not go to the True Car website and just go straight to a dealership, you can most likely get a better deal because if... if True car charges four hundred dollars, or whatever the case may be, to the dealership. Well, the dealership has to has to include that in the price of the car. You can't. <clears throat> that four hundred dollars has to come from somewhere, so they can. That limits them on how much they can lower the price for you. So I, it's funny because the people, some of these people, they get they go to these. There's one case that was just really crazy. Where they go to the True Car website and they think that they get just enough information from the website, they think they're an expert now, you know, and they're going to go in there and they're going to beat the dealership and they're going to, you know, of course, be have this attitude the whole time, of course, and uh, and they're going to get this, you know, crazy ridiculous price and 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 they're just going to be the total winners of all time. But uh, you know, of course, they come in. The dealership with they uh, or they don't even come and they just email you know they they don't want to share their contact information with us they go to the true car website and they think you know they know everything but turns out the true car web so the dealership i worked with were not worked with before they didn't want to deal with true car because it was such a problem you know problem for customers it, it poisoned the well with the customers it caused all these issues so so, uh, we, you know, they said, well, this true car, you know, we can get it at this price or whatever. And we're like, okay, you know, like, here's the price that we have available for you. This is what we can sell you the car. You know, th these are very specific numbers for a specific vehicle. You know, those, the numbers they have on there are not very specific, you know. Does the car have a sunroof? Well, no, you don't know because it doesn't, it's not talking about a specific car. It's talking about, in general, a car that has nothing. You know that's what they're talking about, and that's how they manipulate people. If they, they give you this, you know, they don't, they give you the stock photo of a car that has, you don't know what the options are, you don't know anything about it. There's nothing. It's not a real car. 
it's just a a, a number they're, they're just they're waving these numbers in front of your face to gain your trust and they give you all these articles saying how great they how great they are and how dealership and and dealerships are just out to get you makes you feel like hey you know they're on my side and they're gonna help me uh you know and all that stuff but it's not you know if you go into a dealership with a positive attitude and uh you know pick out the you know allow the salesperson to help you pick out the vehicle that you need at the right price and all that stuff and um you know if you're not conf if you're not confident in the in say negotiations let's say you want to so the thing is they'll give you a good price most dealerships will give you a good price to begin with but if you feel like you want to get a lower price then you kind of have to have some negotiation skills you know because you are implementing the negotiation you are initiating the negotiation uh, the dealership doesn't initiate negotiations they give you their price and if you choose not to pay it and you want to negotiate that's on you you have to come up with the skills um, you know the dealership doesn't that's the thing people have this idea that the dealerships want to negotiate no they don't they try to give you a good price fair price right up front and you know if you want you know, that's the thing it's up to you if you want to spend all the time and effort to try to negotiate that's up to you you save a hundred dollars or whatever you know how much like in my case i don't really I, I'll, I'll 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 make an offer they'll make an offer meet in the middle or whatever but uh I don't, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time trying to save a few bucks. I'd rather put that time and effort into earning more money, you know. Saving a few dollars here and there, I don't obsess about it because that's not, you can't, you can't be, like, you know, somebody said you can't be, you can't get rich by saving, just saving a few dollars here and there. That's not, you know, you can't, that's not going in the right direction. You know, that's just saving money you already earn. You need to focus on earning money, and that's that's my opinion. So you do what you want, but that's what I do. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.